So you need to figure out how much water you have in your well. Well, I'll show you the formula to figure that out, explain the parts, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so how much water is in my well? Um, this amount of water is also known as a static head, and it limits the amount of water that can be pumped out of a well at any given time. And people can have a hard time determining this amount of water if they don't know the formula. So it's pretty easy to find out and uh, using this simple formula. Now, some people may look at this and wonder, what in the world am I looking at? We're going to break it down. Volume is equal to pi multiplied by radius squared multiplied by height. Or we could say the amount of water in your well, which is represented by V, is pi multiplied by half the diameter of the case pipe squared multiplied by the depth of water in the casing pipe. And when it's all said and done, we've got to remember the number 231, because that's the number of cubic inches in a gallon. Dividing the results of our formula by this number will give us the amount of gallons we have in our well. Let's do a sample well, and this will make a lot more sense. Say we have a four inch casing pipe and have five foot of standing water. We want to convert all measurements to inches for our calculations, so we say we have 60 inches of water. Now, if you still need to get your water depth, it's pretty simple. Just tie a nut to a string and uh, lower it into your well until it touches the bottom. Then pull it back up, marking the spot where the string begins to get wet. Measure the distance between the nut and the mark, and this is the depth of water you have. Okay, back to our sample well. One, a half of our four inch casing pipe is two and that will be represented by R. And the H is represented by our 60, that's the depth of water in inches. So now our formula is actually taking on some values, and it looks like this. Volume equals pi times two squared times 60. And we can simplify it even further now our formula is volume equals pi times 4 times 60. And broken down even further, now volume equals pi times 240. And now we bring pi into the equation, and it looks like this. Pi is the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter, and the numerical value is represented as 3.5. One, four. So now we're just about finished. We know that the volume in cubic inches of our well is 753.6. So now we bring in our value of cubic inches in a gallon, which is 231. We'll divide our cubic inch value of our well by this number to find our gallons. And this gives us our available water or static head amount of 3.26 gallons of water. And just remember, it will be a little bit less than that that is available to you uh, because your foot valve does not rest on the bottom of the well. Okay, so now here's a shortcut since we got all the complicated formula out of the way. Six inch wells have about 1.5 gallons of water per 
foot. And four inch wells have about 0.6 gallons of water per foot. If you know the depth of your water in your well, it's pretty easy to figure out your water amount from that. I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.